Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part one of an Elder Scrolls Online Dark Heart of Skyrim epilogue walkthrough. I've previously done two other walkthroughs, one with this character that was titled the Greymoor Edition walkthrough. I leveled this character all the way up to 50, uh, just in Western Skyrim and Dungeons and Battlegrounds. On a separate character, I also did a walkthrough of Markarth of the Reach. And now, whenever you do both zones, you unlock a new quest chain that finishes up the story of both of these zones. Now, I had to take this character. I wanted to do this on this Greymore character. Uh, his name is Dresdenzor. He's a Magicka Nightblade. And so I had to go ahead and finish the Markarth storyline on this character off camera. But now you can see Gwyndis is here, and she's ready to give us the final... Over here! Your favorite yet overqualified messenger brings news. So she's going to send us on the final set of quests. Veranda sent me to keep watch for you, which I hope you appreciate because it is both boring and a huge waste of my talents. Anyway, he wants you to meet him in Markarth right away. Gwyndis is always upset when she gets sent to send messages to people. Is this about Rada al Saran and the Grey Host? What else? That's all he seems to think about lately, but he hasn't shared any details. I hope whatever it is takes some weight off his shoulders. He hasn't been the same since what happened at the Library of Arxand. Has Verandas been acting differently? Not different, precisely. He's been distracted, mulling something over. He'll tell me when he's ready, I guess. But he wants to talk to you. You are the one who defeated Svargrim and Lady Belaine, after all. He's waiting in Understone Keep. I'll go to Understone Keep and talk to Verandas. Verandas is certain that Radha al Saran has set his final plan into motion, so get to Markarth and talk to him. When you do speak with Verandas, don't let him pretend everything's fine. I think it's the Dark Heart and the connection he feels to it. Remind me about this connection to the Dark Heart. Whatever Radha al Saran did at the Orrery, it somehow connected the Dark Heart to the Grey Host. Since then, Verandas has felt its power. I think there's more to it than that, but he isn't talking. Is there anything else? You'll have to ask him. But if I had to guess, we failed to stop the Grey Host from sacrificing much of Markarth to the Dark Heart. Verandas wants to make that right. Until he does, it will continue to eat at his core. Did Verandas mention what he wants to discuss with me? He's had the Raven Watch shadowing the Grey Host's movement from here to the Sea of Ghosts. If he's calling for you, it means we finally discovered something we can act upon. We're all tired of chasing shadows, especially Verandas. All right. So, in the previous two walkthroughs, we defeated High King Svargrim, who was one of Rada al Saran's lieutenants. And uh, that was in the Greymoor edition, and then in the Markarth walkthrough, we defeated Lady Belaine. But we've still not defeated Rada al Saran himself. The Grey Host is still loose and still up to no good. So, we're finally going to find out what they're up to why they've been doing all of these things. And why is my, why did my character disappear? My friend, I wish I bore better news, but our paths seem to cross only in times of great crisis. Radha al Saran has re emerged from the shadows. That can only mean one thing he believes his true goal is at hand. Have you figured out the truth behind Radha al Saran's plots, Verandas? Not completely, but consider what he's wrought thus far. Hero storms across western Skyrim to revive the Grey Host. Here, the souls of Markarth reaped to empower the Dark Heart. Both great sacrifices, but I fear worse is yet to come. What could be worse than all those deaths? A good question. Despite your success stopping High King Svargrim and Lady Belaine, 
The Dark Heart's reawakening provided the Dwarven Orrery with a frightening source of power. But to what end? I'd like you to help me ascertain the answer. I'll help you. Do you know where we should start looking for Rada al Saran? A moment. Sometimes the intensity of the currents flowing through the darkness can be... overwhelming. There. Fenorian reports that Greyhost leaders gather north of Markarth. I believe Rada is there, preparing them for what's to come. The currents flowing through the darkness? It's nothing. I... I don't want to concern the others. Whatever Rada did at the Orrery, it connected the Grey Host to the Dark Heart. And that includes me. Like the souls of Markarth that the Heart consumed, a part of me is caught within the Void. What does that mean? I don't know. I can feel the Dark Heart's pulse. A throbbing that grows stronger as the Heart becomes more powerful. But it hasn't consumed me. In fact, like Arana and Lady Belaine, I may be able to draw upon it. Though I haven't attempted that yet. All right, let's go find Rada al Saran. Investigate the Greyhost activity in the foothills north of Markarth, near Bathardams. Fenorian will meet you there. Gwendis and I will return to the Orrery in Arkthazan. Join us once you uncover Rada's plans. What do you hope to find at the Arkthazan Orrery? It's clear the Orrery plays an integral part in Rada's plans, but the specifics elude me. The Dark Heart, the Orrery, the Harrow Storms, they are all connected. Smaller pieces of a much grander scheme. Of that much I'm certain. I need to learn more. How has Markarth fared since the Grey Host attack? Ard Kadok and his people carry on, and life continues. The deaths, though... The soul has been ripped from this place. They still don't fully comprehend what happened. I doubt they ever will. All right, let's go see if we can find these uh, these gray host leaders north of Markarth. Ah, uh, need to look at the map. See where I'm going. I knew Lady Belaine was plotting something. I only wish I could split her skull myself. Well, Arana and her rebels saved us the trouble. If they hadn't shown up when they did. I know. Who'd have thought we'd owe our lives to that lot? Can't you just be grateful? <laughs> I just hope the Ard lets the rebels stay. Yeah, she didn't need to split Lady Belaine's skull. I did that for her. Alright, we're gonna need to go to this way shrine up here to the north. And then from there, teleport over to where the, um, the Greyhouse leaders are. Looks like there's mountains separating us from where they are. Let's see if we can go through a path over here. Letter from Ans Durin above. Brothers and sisters. We are on the cusp of victory. When the dark storm blows through the void, everything we lost will be returned. Even Go your lies. Victory. Claim victory. Success ah. will bring salvation. We're on this little birds. Give him my best. Damn it. I knew we should have attacked when we had the chance. My orders were to wait, Lyris. At least Rada left something in his haste. Wait, is that you, partner? Could have used you a moment sooner. 
What's going on, Lyris? I was this close to finally planting my axe in Rada al Saran's face. If Fen hadn't insisted we wait for his Raven Watch friends, that monster wouldn't have slipped through our fingers again. You're still on the hunt for him, too, I see. Veranda sent me, actually. He didn't mention you'd be here. When Fen got his orders to investigate the Grey Host, I invited myself along. Sorry about my temper. It's just that we've been shadowing these bastards for a while, and it looked like the opportunity to strike was finally at hand. Did you learn anything while stalking them? Well, Fen's the one keeping notes, but Rada al Saran gathered his subordinates and remaining forces here. It's clear he's preparing to make a move, so Fen sent word to the Raven Watch. I just wish we knew more about this dark storm Rada mentioned. It's a lead, at least. Yeah, a lead that's dragging us in circles. Look, Fen can tell you more. I'm sure he'd love to talk to someone other than me. Brilliant conversation isn't one of my better known graces, as you've experienced firsthand. <laughs> I don't know about that, Lyris. Could this dark storm be related to the harrow storms of Western Skyrim? Possibly. And I've seen Ice Reach Coven witches among the Grey Host troops. After we dealt with Svargrim and shattered the Grey Host's hold on Western Skyrim, it looks like Rada moved his operation to this part of the world. What about Finn's elixir? Was he able to produce enough for the holds? It was slow going. But the concoction he and old Mjolin produced was the only reason the Holds were able to start fighting back. Even after we stopped Rada al Saran's plan in solitude, I don't think the Western Holds would have survived without it. How's Svana? Alive and well. She's taken to her role as Jarl of Solitude far better than anyone imagined. The people love her. There's new life in the Hold despite all that's happened. I admit, I'm hopeful for the future too. Provided we stop Rada al Saran. What's Finn examining over there? You're asking me? No idea. But it's here and so is Rada al Saran, so I'd guess it's got something to do with whatever he's planning. Okay, so some of that dialogue we've seen before in the Markarth walkthrough, it's showing it to me now because this is the first time I've seen Lyris since, uh, since the end of Greymoor. What? Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. I was fixated on this trinket. When Veranda said he would send someone, I assumed he meant Adusa. We weren't supposed to make a move, but Lyris feared we'd miss our chance. I don't think we ever had one, but don't tell her that. What's so interesting about that trinket? Other than I think it belonged to Rada al Saran? I sense a powerful magic has been cast on the item. Oromancy. I recognize it. The technique is remarkably similar to what Verandas uses. Not surprising, I suppose. They were friends once, after all. What else have you learned while you were tracking the Grey Host? Well, after their defeats in Western Skyrim and the Reach, the Grey Host has regrouped. The ancient Exarchs have arrived and asserted their control over the newer troops. We also intercepted a courier a few days ago. He carried a coded message. Were you able to decipher the coded message? My command of ancient Yokudin is elementary at best. I assumed it had something to do with Harrow Storms, until Rada al Saran mentioned this Dark Storm. I think he's planning something massive. More massive even than the storm over Solitude. We should take this to Verandas. He's waiting for us at the Arthazan Orrery. We're going to meet Verandas. Right now? I, um. Yes, that would be prudent, I suppose. Do I look presentable to you, befitting of an audience with the Count? I don't imagine there's time for a bath before we head to the orrery. No. What was that you mentioned about Oromancy? This trinket Rada al Saran left behind. It radiates a magical residue similar to what Verandas leaves behind when he casts Oromancy. Perhaps you've seen him use it to draw memories from the past. Yes, I have. I wonder why Rada al Saran left it here. Seems like you've been busy since I saw you last. Amazingly so. I assisted Svana. Jarl, Svana, for a while, helping old Mjolin and the Mages Guild produce as much of the Harrowstorm elixir as we could. But I couldn't linger there forever. I've been tracking the Grey Host ever since. Have you learned anything about their current plans? No. Though I'm hopeful Count Verandas can find something in this coded letter. He's better at ancient languages than I am. I was able to find this meeting site. And I know the Grey Host forces have regrouped under the command of the ancient Exarchs. You seem anxious to see Verandas. 
Do I? <laughs> yes, well, I... I suppose it's only natural. I'm returning from my first real assignment, and haven't seen Count Veranda since... Well, it was long before I started to investigate the Grey Host. I want to do him proud. You seem to admire Verandas a lot. Who doesn't look up to the person that's, for all intents and purposes, their father? Count Verandas made me a part of his noble house. I want to be worthy of that and uphold the ideals of the Ravenwatch. And besides, I've missed my family. Okay. So, here's his trinket. Is that Count Verandas? The soul's ability to travel among infinite planes of existence is equally boundless. Fen, what did you do? Souls can go anywhere. Imagine if they had the freedom to choose their destination or even return to life. It's the Auromancy. We're seeing an image of the past. I don't see how we figure out where Rada al Saran went from here. Let's hope this Count Verandas of yours is as smart as Fen claims. You saw that projection, right? I saw it. I don't know what it was, but I saw it. It didn't set you on fire, so as far as mysterious magic goes, I'd count your blessings. Was that the illustrious Count Ravenwatch I've heard so much about? Well, let's not keep the real one waiting. I'm greatly looking forward to seeing Count Verandas again. But Oromancy visions weren't what I had in mind. Why did a projection of Verandas appear when I examined that trinket? That wasn't the Verandas we know. Rada al Saran cast Oromancy on that trinket. It pulled a memory, an echo out of the ancient past. But why did he leave that here? He had to know we'd be able to access the magic. What's Oromancy? Certain inanimate objects especially of personal or sentimental value, can become imbued with the auras of those whom possess them. Oromancy allows a mage to pick up vague impressions, or even see past events. Uh, we've seen Oromancy a lot in these series. I just wanted to ask him, just in case you happen to be watching, maybe this is the first video uh, of mine that you've seen. Right, I remember Verandas used that in Night Hollow Keep. The power emanating from the lingering magic is... intense. I think this trinket was specifically prepared to reveal the image we just witnessed. But is it a message for us? Or for Count Verandas? Now, I saw another image. I saw another, um... It looked like a quest. Letters from Ansdurin below. Um... I'm gonna actually figure out what this is. Maybe this is just something from the Reach. Okay, I think this is... Okay, it's uh, one of the symbols from the Shaman. There's a bunch of quests in uh, Markarth that have you go get these symbols for the shaman. That's what that is. And we've already done it in the Markarth walkthrough, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm using a solo build that is really tanky, so you'll notice... Uh, it, some of the fights can often take a long time. I may change the build in between part one and part two to have him do more damage. Um, although it is kind of interesting to play a character like this because you see more boss mechanics. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do that. By the way, I did uh, allocate some champion points, since this character is now level 50. But I allocated um, only a little over 160, so this character is still not over-leveled for the content that we're doing. 
I didn't want to not allocate any because then he I would knew be. I Lady Belain was plotting something. He would be under level. I only wish I could split her skull myself. Oh, I don't want to find High Shaman. I'm in completely the wrong place. I need to go to the Orrery Chamber. We owe our lives to that lot. Can't you just be grateful? I just hope the. This is a passageway that opened up near the end of Markarth that leads to Nichuan Zell. And then we can go through Nichuan Zell to get to uh, Arkthazan Caverns. Blackreach Arkthazan Caverns, I should say. Alright, I'm just gonna run through here. This is taking too long, so I'm just going to teleport. Should be able to go to Arctazon Cavern. Ah, I have to go all the way over here. Maybe that's not worth it. Let's see, there's a stairway right here. reach now. We just need to cross this bridge and we'll be at the library where the orrery is. But we intercepted this letter. A moment, Fenorian. The darkness has passed. Well done acquiring this letter. Never mind the pat on the back, Verandas. What happened? Us, nothing. A distraction. Our friend has arrived, and we must not waste any time. The Dark Heart. The episodes grow more frequent. Each time the currents swell, it's like I'm losing myself to the darkness. We must uncover Rada's plans before that happens. Perhaps this coded message will tell us more about the Darkstorm. Can you decipher the message? I see that Rada has employed his mother tongue to obscure the message. I remember his language. And the Greyhost ciphers well. This... This isn't a dispatch. It's a letter to me. Is he taunting us? No, he... He's trying to persuade me. Convince me that his path is the right one. Prove to me that the dream we once shared is within reach. 
The letter outlines, in essence, the recipe for Rada's dark storm. Can we use that to stop it? Not in and of itself. He wants me to follow in his footsteps. To see what he did and learn the truth of what he promises. In doing so, however, I will discover how to stop it. He's bearing his throat to me, confident I will not bite, but I must. Where is he telling you to go? I must seek a place in the Reach where the land was sundered from Tamriel. And I must study the void through night hollow eyes. And finally, I must learn about keystones and Badarzel. In my current state, I... I don't trust myself. Will you go in my stead? I'll take this journey in your place. I'll leave the course of the journey up to you, but these three will go ahead to assist you. Lyris to Understone Keep, Gwendis to the Night Hollow Archives, and Fenorian to Badarzel. I'll meet each of them at the appointed place. I'm sorry to put this all upon your shoulders, but it's better that I remove myself from this journey. You can see what Rada intends to show me with impartial eyes. Learn the secrets of the Darkstorm, and together, we'll unravel Rada's plans. This could be a trap. That's a distinct possibility, but I don't believe Rada intends to kill me. At least not yet. He has something to prove. That need will stay his hand better than any armor. We don't have the luxury of ignoring his invitation in any case. Why would Rada Ulceron jeopardize his plan just to prove something to you? Rada is a prideful man. When I deserted the Grey Host, it wounded him deeply. He wants to prove that I was wrong to doubt him. What he doesn't understand is that I never doubted what he could accomplish. <clears throat> I just feared what it would cost. Are you sure it's a good idea to leave you here alone? If this is a trap, you're the one walking into it. But if he does return to the orrery while you're gone, I will buy whatever time I can. Until then, there are things I also need to accomplish. What do you plan to do while we're gone? I'll study the heart and the orrery. Try to learn enough so that we can make use of whatever you'll discover when the time comes. I will also examine my own condition. I must ascertain that I can control this darkness and not be controlled by it. I have questions about our search. Uh, yes, of course. Rada didn't reveal everything in his letter, but if there's something I can answer for you, I will. What is this land sundered from Tambriel that you want Lyris and I to find? That one is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. But Rada provided a clue. He said it was a place in the Reach. Who better to ask about locations in this part of the world than Ard Kadok? Meet Lyris and Markarth and seek the Ard's counsel. What does he mean to study the Void through Night Hollow eyes? I can only speculate, but we know the Night Hollow clan had an intimate connection to the Void through the Dark Heart. It makes sense they studied it over the many years that it sustained them. I noticed an archive in their keep when we were there. Should I go with Gwyndus to the Night Hollow archive? Yes. See what secrets they gathered at the height of their power. I only hope that the archive has weathered the centuries better than the Night Hollow clan themselves. Where do the Keystones fit into the Greyhost plans? We know Rada needed a keystone to enter this chamber and calibrate the orrery to the Dark Heart. Go to Bedarzel. Fenorian will help you discover whatever secret awaits there concerning the Dwarven Keystones. Okay, I had other questions. I'll answer them as best I can, but every moment we delay puts us another pace behind Rada. And actually, it looks like we've already uh, asked him the other questions, so we're done. So we've got three different places we can go now. We can either uh, go to... Um, we can go to the headquarters where Arcadic is in Markarth and ask him if he knows where the land sundered from Tamriel is, or we can go to the Night Holler archive and learn about the Dark Heart, or we can go to Botharzel and try to find a keystone. So I think I'm going to start by going back to Arcadic and see if he knows where this land sundered from Tamriel is. talk to anybody else? Will Lyra say anything? For the record, this plan sounds like a symphony of horker farts. 
I haven't got a better one, so I'll pinch my nose and go along with it. Especially if I'm headed to Understone Keep. Hope Caddick isn't half the rotten bastard I've heard he is. Do you really think someone in Understone, Understone Keep knows about the land sundered from Tamriel? Ard Caddick's the ruler around here, right? I've never known a competent ruler who doesn't know his realm like the back of his hand. And I've never heard that the despot of Markarth wasn't competent. We'll find it. Mark my words. Sundered land. Does that sound like the plain meld to you? Now that you mention it, yeah. And come to think of it, Manamarco spent time there with his worm cult. He's the backstabber who caused the soul burst and helped Molag Bal plant his dark anchors. Rumor has it Kadok welcomed him with open arms. What? Why would Kadok help Manamarco? Reachmen had their arses on the ruby throne before Varen won the Empire. And Manamarco was the architect of his destruction. I wouldn't be surprised if they welcomed the Worm King into Markarth with a parade. Let's go ask Kadok all about it. Alright, let's do it. I am gonna talk to Gwyndis and, um... Verandas is certainly entrusting you with a lot of responsibility. You better not fail him, especially while he's dealing with whatever the Dark Heart is doing to him. I'll meet you at Night Hollow Keep and we'll learn what we can about the Void. What do you know about the Night Hollow Archive? Just what Verandas told me while we were doing our research. We know that the Night Hollow Clan is older than the stones we're standing on. The Archive might contain thousands of years of secrets, or it might be full of nothing but dust. Secrets about the Dark Heart and the Void? They built an empire by feeding off that heart. Odds are good that one of the creepy vampires wrote about it before the well dried up and their power withered away. We'll find these secrets, and maybe a way to help Verandas too. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to Fenorian, and then we're gonna leave. Gods, I've never seen Verandas struggle like this. How can he expect me to go to Bethazel and leave him to deal with this on his own? Don't worry, I know my duty. It's just hard sometimes. What do you know about Bethazel? Nothing. Well, I know it's a dwarven ruin, but aside from that, Dwemer studies have never been my strong point. You've been there before, haven't you? I think so. Together we'll figure it out. We've managed to make it this far with less to go on. I guess I've been to Pitharzel, not sure. So many different dwarven ruins, I get them all mixed up. Alright, so I'm just gonna teleport back to... Karth. Over here, partner. Well, I've got bad news and worse news. Kadok and I already exchanged words. Most of them insults. The only agreement we came to was that he'd stop sending his stone hands to toss me out if I stopped breaking their noses. You, you got into a fight with Ard Kadok? It wasn't a fight until he sent his stone hands against me. Wasn't much of one after that, come to think of it. We got as far as Sundered Land when he shouted something about Mana Marco and called up his personal guard. What does Mana Marco have to do with all this? That's what I was trying to find out when Kadok got all angry and said something about my head and a pike on the wall. <sighs> Look, you talk to him. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Uh, all right. I suppose our Kadok and I have a rapport. Markarth would be a ghost town if it wasn't for you. If that doesn't earn you the courtesy of an audience... I can go back to breaking noses. I'll present myself to Ard Kadok. The Ard is in his throne room. We just need to know where to find the land sundered from Tamriel. According to Rada al Saran's letter, it's somewhere in the Reach. Oh, and I'm not apologizing. Not to Kadok, anyway. Sorry. What did you and Kadok argue about? Manamarco, Emperor Varen, Nord's Reachman, his flea-bitten beard. I can stomach insults hurled at me. But I couldn't stand there quietly as he spoke ill of Varen while praising that traitor Menomarco. All right, I'll go talk to him. Wait, why is it telling me... Oh, it's got... Because I have multiple quest objectives, it's telling me different places to go. 
We need to go to the throne. Had my fill of Reeker's grace in my presence today. Seeing is how you shed blood for me. And mine, I'll give you my ear, but make it quick. My bile's up, and too much talk will likely make it churn. I'm in search of land that was sundered from Tamriel. It happens somewhere in the Reach. Bah, you speak with that half-giant's tongue. What business is it of yours? What I do with my land? I gave that parcel to Manamarco years ago. It was his to offer to Molagbal, as he pleased. Why dredge up such dealings now? You allowed a part of your land to be offered to Molagbal? I didn't know that was the elf's intent when I granted him the domain, but we honor Molagbal, just like all the great spirits. You won't find many here who deny an offering to a great spirit, no matter how grand. Do you know why Manamarco made this offering? Manamarco didn't call me confidant. When he departed, he said the failure here would forge his success elsewhere. I never saw him again. If you want to know his mind, you'll have to see what he wrought yourself. I'll open the way for you. Where can I find the land you gave to Manamarco? There's a lift in Nichuan's cell that'll take you to the Sundered Land. I keep it sealed for reasons that should be obvious, but I'll see your granted passage. Now, off you go. And take the prickly she-wolf with you. Why would you make a deal with someone like Manamarco? Not so long ago, Reach folk ruled the Empire. We had our lands return, and dignity restored. Then, we were driven back into the mud by the usurper. Manamarco pledged justice for my people if I gave him shelter. A dark spirit's bargain, to be sure. Do you regret the deal you made? No. The usurper, Varen, lost his lands, his throne, and so much more. What Mana Marco promised me was given. If that don't sit well with you, I got no apologies to give. I can only tell you, that's where my dealings with the Worm King begin and end. All right. So let's see, is Lyris going to talk to us now? Looks like she's run off somewhere. Okay, so we still need to go to the Night Hollow Archive. We need to learn about Keystones in Batharzel, and we need to find the Sundered Land. We've got a clue. We know that it's in Nichuan's Got the information cell. we need? Here she is. Good. Did you get a location? Give me the details and you go on ahead. I want to chase down a few leads about the Worm Cult while we're here in Markarth. Shouldn't take long. I'll catch up. What leads are you looking into? Nothing I want to waste your time with, but I learned of a few places the Worm Cult used to stay in town. They're long gone, but maybe I can figure out what Menamarco has to do with this and why it interests Rada Al-Saran. Kadok says Menamarco offered the land to Bolog Ball. Oh good. This keeps getting better and better. Yeah, no kidding. I thought I was finished with Menamarco's insanity a long time ago. <laughs> Shows you what I know. Go on. I'll catch up to you. Arcadic says we can reach the place where the land was sundered by going through Nichuan Zell. It's somewhere inside or beyond an old dwarven ruin. Wonderful. Good thing I brought my construct busting axe. Yeah, that'll be needed. All right, so uh, this is going to be the end of the episode. In the next episode, we're going to go to Nichuan Zell and we're going to try to find this land sundered from Tamriel. Then we'll go to the Night Hollow Archive. We'll go to Bethar Zell to find keystones. And we'll uh, try to piece all of this together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.